princess because I have not been one <laughs> for the past couple of days or a few days actually I just feel like I've been kind of out of my routine a little bit I was out of my routine and then I got back in I feel like I'm out of it again because last week was just such a slow week and this week I just want to make sure that like I'm actually getting everything I need to get done and scheduling everything properly hello and actually being on my grind because I really realized that when I'm on my routine I feel and I perform my best like mentally I am so much better and I also realized that when I'm busier like the busier I am the better I feel the more alive and the more happy I feel and the more fulfilled I feel even though my schedule has been pretty busy for the past whole month of April now looking back on it when I had a couple few days to just like relax after that I'm like oh my gosh like I actually miss the crazy busyness like I really like it when, when I actually have stuff to do when I have to schedule like every hour hour of the day I don't know why but it just makes me more productive than if I just can do like a free-for-all you know I guess it gives me more structure and that's what I like and I just feel so accomplished at the end of the day and it makes me feel really really good now I realize I prefer being busy on a routine look at 2pm Binu eating their breakfast up little hungry girls over here guys Binu is like quite a bit bigger than 2 apparently she like her breed is <laughs> Here, let me give her more. Apparently, Binu's breed is supposed to be a little bit bigger than Tupi's, but you could see like a pretty big significance in their size right now. Tupi could barely fit in the bowl, like just to put her paws up, but Binu has no problem. So I feel like she's gonna be a big, big girl, and she's gonna be the little girl. But we'll see, I guess. I guess every cat's different regardless, but we'll see. They're definitely getting their nutrients in, that's for sure. All right, guys, gym outfit of the day. I'm wearing this workout tank from Aritzia. I love like the cut of it. It just gives pilates princess and then my leggings are from gymshark love them so much i got my new balances on and i just got my ritzia sports bra as well underneath that is the gym fit of the day got my bag my bag i've gotten a lot of questions on it so random but it's from forever 21 and i just randomly found it because i did a collab with reebok i got it in person like a year ago but yeah i got my bone broth and my cute pink mug my pink princess mug and then my puffer is from princess polly i love this puffer so much but anyway it's gonna head out of the house now and work out so i will talk to you guys later cheers to the beginning of the week i might just call and catch a play i might just come see you today you wait i'm stuck up in my bed but love it when i'm playing games that's the only way we get away I just made my smoothie and I'm gonna shower after I drink it, but I'm going to get my nails done today with Madison. I am just loving the French tip, so I'm definitely gonna keep my French tip, but I'm just not sure what I'm gonna do for the color of it. I really have been vibing with this pink, but I'm gonna look on Pinterest right now and see if I like any other color because I may just do the pink again because I just love it that much, but I always like to switch it up, so I feel like that's boring doing the pink 
again i honestly don't think i've ever gotten the same nails twice in a row so i'm gonna look on um pinterest right now i've been seeing these cheetah print nails i mentioned this on the podcast and oh my goodness i wish i had the patience to sit there for that design but there's no way like that i can't do that unless they're like stick-ons that would add like an hour onto the appointment and i'm already like antsy getting my nails done but that would be so cute like cheetah french dip are you kidding i feel like a um, pale yellow is really cute and also an orange but maybe that's more summery for like the orange i don't know like look at these cheetah print nails i wish also that'd probably be like 300 dollars. <laughs> getting my nails done already cost me like 100 bucks every time i really do like this yellow i've gotten yellow before like a long time ago and i really liked it so maybe i'll do that honestly i feel like it's just gonna be a last second decision so we'll see what ends up happening <laughs> hey guys i'm just about to leave for my nail appointment but i <laughs> literally took a shower i washed my hair today and i was gonna curl it but i did not have time so it's just blow dried straight and we'll curl it later but i'm kind of in rush i just threw on this comfy outfit the weather is honestly super weird it's sunny but it's like not very hot so i'm just kind of doing a little bit of a layering moment so i got my crew neck my tank top is from garage and then my pants are from brandy and then i'm just wearing my sambas and this is the little outfit of the day i'm not even sure what i'm going to do for my nails yet but we're just going to figure that out when we get there Are crazy today coming out actually, actually came down a little bit there's this book i just okay mm -hmm. i'm trying to find a new book guys because i need to get re-inspired with reading again and i want to read start reading again like 15 pages in the morning or throughout the day of like a good well-being book and oh my god i pick up the phone it's one on one but there was a book over there and it said something about like the miracle something about the morning which i would love to read so that's like a runner up but have you ever heard of the book? Oh, I think it's called the 5 a.m. Club book. I've heard of that. I kind of want to read that. So I'm going to see if I can find it here. I just <clears> kind of <throat> forget the name. Is it called the 5 a.m.? Oh my gosh, my, my allergies are so bad. My throat is itchy. Book. Oh, it is called the 5 a.m. Club. Let's see if they have it here. <sighs> Fresh nails. Oh yeah. Fresh nails. Can you even see them in this lighting? Pink French tip. We both got the exact same them. colors. I don't know where it would be. We might have to ask somebody. The one thing about doing these curls is that my hair feels really crazy. Yeah, guys, she did rope curls and they have been coming out freaking crazy. Like they came down a lot, but the back is like... Well, they look good now. Yeah, but they, they feel a little frizzy and in my face because they get so big. Mm. <laughs> well, I mean, I had it in for like 12 hours, but you know. And like I do it when my hair is like fresh. When your hair is fresh out of the shower, it's like a different vibe <laughs> because there's no grease in sight So it's like it frizzes. Yeah. Advice from a blob? Advice from a blob. She almost shredded my finger like it's like oh, yeah. <gasps> That's actually shredded. bad. I know. That last That's time. about them shredding her nails. She did, she did a better job this time I'm paying $95. Mm, it's true. You did do your thing $95 on a fill. Is that normal? No. I'm Why telling you so now, expensive? I love going to nails with you, but I will be going to like a personally owned nail tech now. There's a girl that I went to high school with. If she does nails, I'll probably start going to her. Really? Why? Because she charges a lot cheaper and she's very good. Mm. Like, like, don't get me wrong, they're good. So like, valid for the... Actually, I don't, I don't want to speak about price because I don't really know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't know guys, let us know down below in the comments if $95 is average for a fill. French fill. I mean like I can't really say anything because like that's when people when people can't justify the price of my cake. I actually know the work that goes into it. Yeah, it's true. So it's like hard to say, like you can't yeah. really speak. Mm -hmm. But like I used to pay like $60 for a fill. I feel like, is it the solid color is a lot cheaper? Maybe it's because we do French? Well it is because we do French, but it's like, what French? French takes them not even five minutes. Let us know down below. For if paying you're an absurd, tech, let us know. Yeah, for paying an absurd. Because what's a full set? I haven't gotten a full set. A full set's literally the same price as a full. It's like ten bucks as more a set. maybe. I mean, it's yeah. a fill. Yeah, it is. Because I remember I got a, I got a full set a few months ago, and it was literally the same price. That's why I was like, what? Can you find this book? guys so it is a while later now i was just working on my computer for basically the whole day after i got home because i had a lot of editing to catch up on and stuff so i was busy busy on my computer anyway so i ended up picking up a book i got the 5am club 
Own Your Morning by Robin Sharma. I've heard about this book so many times and I've just always wanted to read it because I wake up at 5 a.m. now and I have been waking up at 5 a.m. on and off for the past couple of years. And so I don't know, it's just intriguing to give me more motivation to keep waking up early and just to see what this book is all about since technically I'm in the 5 a.m. club already. Sometimes it really does get hard to wake up at 5 a.m. and you're just like, why am I doing this? So I really hope this book can like inspire me, re-inspire me to keep waking up, you know? So I'm gonna definitely start this like tonight maybe and I will update you guys on how I like it, but I feel like this is like the per perfect book to read before bed because it gives you morning inspiration. So she's a slay and I haven't bought a new like actual book in a long time. There's such a big difference from reading like on your iPad or on your Kindle than like actually getting a nice like book that you it's like cute, you know, you can put it on a bookshelf. I don't know, I feel like it's such a different vibe and I was just like craving to have a new actual book because recently I've been reading on my iPad only, like my last book I read on my iPad and it's great because it's like bright screen, you can read wherever, but it just doesn't give that same effect and it also feels like I'm just you know on a screen again but having a book it's like so really makes me feel like i'm off my devices and it's just i guess old school style and i like it so much better but anyways i hope this book is entertaining and it's a pretty short eh, is it short i don't know it's pretty decent size i heard that this book was short but it's not that short it has that's like 300 pages so after we went to the bookstore we stopped off at the dollar store because madison needed to get a couple things and i got some organizers some cotton pads some just like random dollar store things I wanted to stock up on like hair elastics and stuff but we came across this makeup bag are you kidding me cheetah I've been obsessed with cheetah as everybody has because it's so in right now but wow you know what this looks like it looks like that Pinterest lamp I don't know if you guys have seen it but it's like this lamp that went viral on Pinterest and everywhere and it has this exact same pattern on it and shading and everything and I've been wanting that lamp and I saw this and I'm like oh my gosh okay I need it but how cute I am in love with her and I have like a million makeup bags but I can never have enough because I just, I don't know, I kind of want to collect them because I just think that they're so cute and a little collection of mine, you know, when I was younger I used to collect stamps which, which is so random, like why did I collect stamps? I didn't even like stamps, I think I just wanted something to collect so I started collecting stamps. Makeup bags is way more fun than collecting stamps. It was only $4 from the dollar store. Actually $4 from the dollar store is pretty expensive. Like their prices should max out at like $1.25. Like it's a dollar store, not dollars, you know? Anyways, she's a slay. Um, I'm gonna cook dinner now. It's not really ex an exciting dinner because I need to go grocery shopping tomorrow. But I'm just gonna cook up some ground beef and rice and we'll see what we can do with that. So, let's get cooking. <laughs> dinner tonight because we have literally no groceries okay i always have ground beef in the freezer because i always stock up on it for days like this when we just have no groceries and when we have no groceries i'm not even kidding you i make the laziest meal of all time it's rice with gr ground beef on top and then you put hot sauce and mayo and i know it sounds disgusting but you have to trust me here hot sauce and mayo and it's actually good no vegetables included but that's okay that's okay because that's just once in a while it's just sadly like to do and joel actually prefers it without the vegetables so well i wouldn't say i prefer without the vegetables but but i don't mind that they'll actually eat well, Joel the other day, this when this happened to us last time, he's like, oh, what do we have for dinner? And I was like, oh, we have ground beef. And he's like, oh, I'm going to cook that up. He starts cooking it up. He comes up, he's like, how do I know ground beef is cooked? And I'm like, make sure you season it. And he wasn't even going to season it. Anyways, cooks the ground beef and that's it. Doesn't make rice, just the ground beef. I'm like, are you just going to eat a bowl of ground beef? That's exactly what I did. Ugh. Boys, guys, boys have a different brain wiring than girls, I swear to That's God. Sure. Like, their brains just don't work the same. They don't. So inefficient. No, it's just, he don't think I'm extra, but I'm not extra. I just know what to do, you know? It's just what you're supposed to do. My body to. needs food, I, I eat. 
Want to say hi, Pino? Guys, I feel like they're already getting so big. Are you already getting so big? They're going to grow so fast and I already know I'm going to be looking back at these videos and looking back at photos and I'm going to be like, Joel, they were so small. And now they're so small. You know what I mean? So it's like, ugh, I just don't want them to grow because they're so cute like this. Like, can they stay with kittens forever? Yeah, if you invented that, you'd be so rich. Oh my god, you know what I just realized? How is there not a mutation that you can do that? You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright guys, we got both the beans. Soupy and Binu. <laughs> you know, I the hot stove. Oh shit. <laughs> I, I got them, don't worry. Guys, they, uh -huh. they, they get along so well, I swear. They were just sleeping together today. And they're so cute, they're always playing together. Right girls? Right? <gasps> oh my god, they're so cute! Okay, they want to go down. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> So it's a bit later now and I'm just watching Vanderpump Rules. As per usual, it's my evening, you know, wind down show and I didn't even realize it's already 9 o'clock so I'm gonna actually head to bed in like a couple of minutes and just like shut things down downstairs for the night and go up and go to bed. I've been going to bed so much later recently in terms of actually getting myself into bed just because of the sun has been setting so late now. So it feels my kittens are literally both using the litter box at the same time i swear they do everything together when one of them needs to go pee the other one makes sure she goes too but anyways yeah so since it's been so much brighter later i haven't been as inclined to go lay in bed because in the winter i was in bed by like eight o'clock just like laying there reading or watching youtube or something before i go to bed but now i'm just like i love soaking in like the evening rays because it's so much brighter so later now so i just love sitting here and just enjoying like the daylight still i guess and then when i look at the time i'm always so surprised because i'm like how is it already nine o'clock right now like i should be in bed our lease is coming to an end soon and uh, i don't want to like i love this place so much i don't want to leave i also do like change and since we're renting it's like kind of fun to try out different places and i don't know i'm just gonna let it be i'm just gonna let it be and i'm just gonna put out in the universe and whatever's meant to be is gonna be meant to be but i've been just like for fun i love interior design and i love looking at houses for sale houses for rent all the time like i'm always scrolling on facebook marketplace at like apartments and houses and just to see like everything i just find it so interesting anyway so i have just been like looking I'm, I'm always looking but yeah i mean we'll see what happens i can't believe our lease is already up in july like that's crazy that's only two months away and that's not even okay like the fact that it's june next month i don't even know where's the time going like last time i checked it was just the new year like literally bye we can easily renew our lease and just stay here month to month and whatever we don't intend to move like we love this place so 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 much it's like perfect but i mean if it happens it happens and i'm not gonna complain because i love change i love you know being in new environments and i don't know we'll see we will see we also want a new car soon because joel and i share a car it's like my car that i've always had like i bought it when i was 19 so i bought it like five years ago now which is insane but yeah, I mean, I feel like it's time for an upgrade so we can both buy a car together because right now, like, it's just my car, you know? And so we don't need two cars because we both work from home and we barely ever drive. So if we get two cars, like, that would literally be just a waste. Who knows? Maybe we're, we'll get a new car soon and that'll be the new change coming. But like, I don't know. I'm craving a little bit of change, you know? I don't know if that's going to be an environment switch or what, but I feel like we also just did get settled in this place. So maybe it's not good time to move and also this space just fits our furniture and everything so perfectly we'll see because the universe always is like last minute things that slap you in the face that you didn't expect so we'll see what happens but anyways i'm gonna go up to bed now because it's already past nine which is insane so i will talk to you guys tomorrow actually i'm gonna start reading the book in bed oh my gosh i'm actually excited to start that tonight and get off of my phone because i've been in a bad habit of scrolling okay let's go get ready for bed also, how cute are my shorts and my tank top? This is both from Brandy, and oh, they just have such cute little shorts and tank tops. Like, I love this type of loungewear. It's just my favorite. You can never go wrong. Like, the cuter this is, the cuter I feel, and then the happier I am. You know, it just directly correlates. I love myself a cute little loungewear set. Good morning guys. 
happy wednesday i have a lot of things to do today before like two o'clock so it's gonna be a busy day we're recording our podcast today so i'm excited for that because we didn't record um last week because talia was sick so i'm really excited to do an episode i missed it when we didn't record last week i really did miss it so excited for that but i also have to go grocery shopping today i have to get a whole video done and then i have to film sponsorship yeah there's just more things on that list that i need to check but if need be though i can always change the time to there and be like hey can you come a little bit later so it's not that big of a deal good morning i had like the weirdest dreams last night i kind of remember them but i kind of don't it's one of those nights where you feel like you didn't sleep because you were just constantly dreaming and i hate that feeling because i wish like i just like sleeping you know I don't mind dreams sometimes, but like it just, I never feel like I have as good as a sleep when I dream because I feel like I was just like somewhere else, you know, like I wasn't truly resting. But I'm pretty sure having dreams means you're like in a really good deep sleep. So I know it's a good thing, but my alarm just came way too early this morning. Okay, go through sister. I'm just remembering now one of the dreams I had. Binu was like grew up in like one day and she was like a full-size cat and Tupi was still small and we were like what the heck like what happened to her it was so weird dreams are so weird like I, I swear I have the weirdest dreams too like the most random dreams I have like a super sensitive tooth like my one of my back molars right now and I know that I should go to the dentist because it's probably something but Ugh, guys, I don't even want to go to the dentist. I first of all, I hate the dentist. Second of all, I don't even know if I have benefits. Something with the union, with my background acting and stuff. But I don't want to pay out of pocket. Like I really don't. So I'm gonna store my benefits out and then I'll go. But I've been starting to oil pull again recently because I've been only doing it really on the weekends, just because it kind of takes time in the morning. Like you can't just immediately brush your teeth. If you guys don't know what oil pulling is, you basically just swish coconut oil in your mouth and it supposed to really help the health your breath like everything is supposed to be really good for you we have to do it for at least like five minutes so it's kind of time consuming in the morning and so i did it this morning and i'm going to start doing it again because i do notice a big difference when i do it and hopefully that helps something i saw on tiktok that dentists don't want to tell people about oil pulling because it will make them as rich because people won't have as, as many problems so who knows if that's true it's tiktok but i'm gonna believe it anyways today is just basically cardio and abs day at the gym, probably do a bit of stretching as well. I'm gonna do 12 3 30, go on the Stairmaster treadmill, and then yeah, abs, do some stretching. Cheers to Wednesday and cheers to 5 a.m. I was contemplating like introducing caffeine at this time, like having um, a Celsius right when I wake up, like some sort of an energy drink or coffee. But I'm like, ugh, I don't wanna get my body adjusted to that because I know it's like not good for you in the long term, long run. I don't know. I feel like I prefer having my coffee like a bit later in the day. I know a lot of people have like two coffees a day or three coffees coffees a day we'll have one immediately when they wake up and then later on in the day but i don't know i just don't want to be so reliant on caffeine and i feel like having one coffee a day like at a random time like i always have it at a different time my body doesn't become reliant on it so it's fine if i ever have to go days without it like it doesn't affect me but yeah it would be nice to have a caffeinated drink right now it would be really really nice you see money all around me i look like i'm the man The one thing that I realized about getting older is it's so important to really take care of your teeth now while you're young especially so that you don't run into future problems with the dentist. So this is the Lathan electric toothbrush and it cleans my teeth so good. The Lathan toothbrush is super super good and efficient because it actually vibrates and oscillates which means it moves side to side at the exact same time and this just makes it really be able to brush a wider area of your mouth and also make it easier for you and get a super good clean when you brush your teeth you can really feel it getting in every crevice and my teeth have never 
never never felt cleaner so it actually comes with three different heads so this one's for gum care this one's for ultra super clean and then this one is for whitening i personally use the gum care brush head it's super super powerful but it's also super gentle at the same time and doesn't irritate my teeth and my gums i personally have really sensitive teeth and gums and i had to stop using my old electric toothbrush because it was way too harsh so this toothbrush is only 70 dollars and my old one the philips sonicare was literally over 200 dollars you can literally buy three leaf and electric toothbrushes for the price of one which is insane and such a good price i usually like to change my toothbrush head around every two months because i brush my teeth a lot the heads only cost $16.99 for a six pack and so it's so cheap to maintain and i've always been hesitant buying new heads for my old toothbrush because they were so expensive and on top of everything she's just so aesthetic and will look great in your bathroom or wherever it honestly makes me feel like brushing my teeth is less of a chore and more something that's actually fun to do since it cleans your teeth so well it also helps eliminate bad breath and that's something that i struggle with and i noticed a big difference you can also customize the vibration strength the oscillation range and also the speed and it goes through levels one to ten and you can also adjust the brushing length as well you could customize all of this stuff in their app and you don't need to constantly be charging it because it can last up to 30 days on a single charge and it only takes two and a half hours to get a full charge if you guys want to invest in your dental care which i 100 percent suggest that you do go visit the link in my description and she will be there thank you so much to lathan for sponsoring today's video I just got, no, I was gonna say y'all ready for the day, but I did not. I just did my makeup and I just had to redo my hair a little bit because it got messed up from the gym. My hair gets messed up from the gym and the sauna all the time. Like I haven't been able to find a way to keep it, you know, nice. Anyways, so I just literally put on this little loungewear set, same shorts I was wearing yesterday because I need to edit a vlog, get it up today. I'm gonna schedule it for later because I've been posting Wednesdays and Sundays and then I'm actually gonna like get changed for the day. Hopefully I'll have time to go grocery shopping. That's kind of up in the air. I do actually really need to go, but I guess we'll try to make do tonight if I don't have anything, if, I'm, if I don't end up going, but I'm really gonna try to make time to go. I don't know why, but the day has just been passing me by even though I wake up at five. It's like, how is it already 10? I have no idea. My morning routine took five hours. You're telling me five hours? I know I spend like, two and a half hours at the gym sorry no that would be like two hours at the gym because we go in the sauna for half an hour and then our workout's like an hour and a half so two hours at the gym i guess that takes up a long time like by the time we actually get to the gym and leave so it kind of makes sense but it's a beautiful day out today and it's so gorgeous like the light shining in is just my favorite thing in the whole entire world like i just love this part of my house and see guys this is what makes me like not want to move like look at how beautiful this is so that's the plan for right now anyways just wanted to update you guys Hey guys, I'm currently in the Wendy's drive-thru. Tally and I just finished recording. I'll explain this in a sec, but I'm literally so dead. I do not have, first of all, any groceries to make dinner. And the order window? Yup, it is. Hi, can I please get a large fries? Can I get that with the medium white chocolate strawberry frosty? Anything else? Yes, and then I'm going to get classic chicken strips. Can I do ranch? And can I do the sour cream and chai baked potato? Yeah, and that's all. Talia and I just finished recording the podcast and I have been at it like go, go, go literally all day. And I didn't have time to go grocery shopping. So I am hungry. We have no groceries, it's seven o'clock. And I'm like, you know what? Talia was telling me how she loves Wendy's. And I was like, I haven't been to Wendy's in like eight years. And I looked at their menu and I'm like, okay, I need to go because this sounds so enticing. When I used to go to Wendy's back in the day, my family and I would always get their baked potatoes because they have like these, I don't know, sour cream and chive baked potatoes. I would always get it and it was like the best thing ever. So I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, I have to go to Wendy's. So I just got chicken strips with the baked potato, really random, but I know it's going to be so good. And it's something different because like I said, haven't been here in like eight years and we have absolutely nothing for dinner. Like unless I have breakfast for dinner, but I already had breakfast. So I don't want breakfast for dinner. So we're eating out. We're doing a little bit of a cheap meal. Thank you. So anyways, I'm actually really excited for this and before I left the house, the kitchen was a mess because the dishes have just been accumulating from all day. And Joel was like, we gotta clean it. We just have to clean it before it's too late. And I'm like, nope. And he's like, yes. And he made me do it, which I'm happy he did because I am just so tired. I've been nonstop since 5 a.m. Since I woke up, guys. I'm a tired girl. I'm a tired girl today. So we're getting the wind zits. Thank you. That's for Joel. Oh my god, I should have got a frosty. What am I gonna have for my sweet treat tonight? Thank you so much. Potato. Okay. 
let's go we were just talking about sweet treats on the podcast so and i didn't even get myself a sweet treat that's really rude of me back from wendy's wendy's haul let's get into it we got a large fries this is for joel and he got the frosty this is such an iconic combo the fries and frosty i'm gonna cry i'm gonna cry i should have ordered a frosty but we can always go back and there's an excuse to go back i'm gonna steal some of this so i got oh my god that's actually pretty small i got three piece chicken strips should have got the six you know what i've never been to wendy's within the past eight years so we live and we learn you know the real star of the show is mrs baked potato this honestly is gonna be fire so they give you sour cream and then the potato and I just remember this being so good, so I'm so excited. Oh, I'm gonna sit down, watch Rounder Pump Rolls. Like half an hour before Talia came, I was having like the worst stomach pains. And I think I was dehydrated because I have been going in the sauna a lot and maybe I haven't been drinking enough water to compensate for that. And it felt like my stomach was like convulging. Like it was these really painful, weird cramps that was like in the, my stomach muscles, but like I couldn't move or else it like really hurt every, it was so weird. I felt like I was gonna faint. I was getting really lightheaded and it lasted for like 20 minutes and then I was good. It was like on and off, but yeah, that was so weird, but glad that's done because I was just drinking a lot of water. So I think that helped. It was definitely dehydration. But anyways, I'm going to relax now. I just feel so exhausted. Today was a long day because I was just on my computer editing all day. At least I have time to relax and I really want to start the book tonight. I did start it last night, but I only got like one page in before I was falling asleep and I just had to go to bed. So I really want to actually start it tonight and read more. So I'm only gonna watch like half an hour of the show and then I'll go to bed. But anyways, bon appetit, should I do a mukbang? I don't even know how to do one, but slay, this is gonna be so good. Mm. Hey guys, so I'm just wrapping things up for the night. It is 8.54. I keep doing, I literally keep doing this where I tell myself I'm gonna go to bed earlier and then I just get so comfy and I don't but it's okay on the podcast episode we recorded today we talked all about our morning routines our night routines we went through everything and i don't know why but i just love talking about morning routines i love hearing other people's morning routines and stuff and yeah i thought it was a good episode the raw footage is two hours <laughs> But I'm definitely gonna be cutting that down to an hour because I don't think anybody wants to listen to an hour long I mean two hour long podcast episode. So yeah, it's supposed to be like 26 degrees Celsius this weekend or maybe even tomorrow. Yeah. Oh my god 26 degrees Thursday Friday and Saturday. That's insane guys. Like that's summer weather I don't know how much that is Fahrenheit. Maybe like above 80 26 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's like 80 So I was right. I didn't even know I just guessed but then the next day it's like raining so <laughs> can't get our hopes up too high but i'm just so excited for the summer let me know what type of videos you guys like watching in the summer just so i can like prep my content for that i like to do different like themes for the seasons for content wise like summer reset and summer morning routine stuff like that so let me know if there's any specific videos that you guys want to see in the summertime i don't really have anything planned for the summer to be honest nothing yet it would be really nice to go to like rent a house somewhere in the interior of bc and just go for a little road trip ish thing that would be fun and then also like i've already said my cousins are coming but that's not like me going anywhere so i don't know what's gonna happen this summer but i'm excited and i can't believe it's already may like that is just absolutely insane to me i feel like once summer ends it's just christmas fall doesn't last long i'm trying to like slow myself down because i feel like i'm always waiting for the next thing like i'm always looking forward to something and then all of a sudden that thing is over and then i'm looking forward to the next thing but i'm never really or rare i rarely just enjoy the present moment as things are just as is and i need to really work on that i'm just trying to be i guess like more present and just because it's a monday or it's tuesday find things to look forward to within my daily life and romanticize them so every single day i get excited about it no matter what you know and i do have those little things but just like incorporating maybe new things Joel and i got into tennis like two years ago and we played like the whole summer so i want to get back into that because we have the rackets and that would be a fun summer hobby and I, I don't know maybe i need more hobbies i always say that i want to make this summer the best but i actually want to make this one like really good and i really want to get out and do things because i feel like i'm such a homebody and that leads me to always being home which is a good thing 
but I do rarely go out. I'm always home on the weekends and like I said, it's not a bad thing, but at the same time, it's like we're in our early 20s. We should be maybe doing a little bit more. I don't know, but I always like, ugh, I'm just a grandma at my core. Like I always choose to be home. So it's like my doing. There's just nothing like home for me. There's just nothing like it. I'm always going to be homebody, but I feel like sometimes I have to force myself to actually get out and go do things. So this summer I'm like, okay, can't make excuses for the weather because it's going to be nice even if that's just like making an effort to go to the lake go to the beach just have a picnic like just like little things like that to get out of the house and doing something you know yeah i just want to do more things i guess or force myself to do more things i have like an emotional attachment to home not specifically like this building like this house but just in general like my home like i'm just I love it and also i really hope that my videos are not getting too repetitive i don't know i feel like the days where i'm just on my computer and stuff i don't have like extravagant things to vlog and i try to vlog around my house and make things interesting as much as possible but let me know if these are getting repetitive or if you guys like seeing my home life and my day-to-day -day life because personally like when i watch youtubers i love seeing just their regular daily life even if it gets repetitive i eat it up like i love it when it comes to my own contact i'm like my own worst critic and i always want to be getting better and like evolving obviously sometimes when i get in a groove of, groove of filming i like filming the same stuff i go through phases where it's like i'll film the same thing like for a while and then i'll switch it and then you know it, it's always evolving and changing and let me know what you guys think anyways okay i'm gonna get to bed so i can actually like really start reading that book tonight i am really tired though i don't know if i'm gonna be able to stay awake for that and we'll see <gasps> okay guys good night